Hi listeners, welcome to our podcast today in which we discuss what is arguably one of the must-read finance books of the 21st century, The Psychology of Money. Financial Psychology to Make the Audiences Rich and Wealthy First of all, before we get into the content of this book, I have something to say. That he listened first whether the listener will have learned the techniques of investing and saving money or whatever, but try to release the story that has been studied before, because the content of this book will change the concept of change of beliefs of almost all of us have heard of not putting money in the bank and investing it, but this book has the idea that saving isn't bad and that investing might make it worse. Can't sleep in the results that happen maybe saving money may be worth more in the long run which is an idea from this financial psychology book written by Morgan Holzolt. He's a writer at the Wall Street Journal and is now a partner at a venture capital firm called the Collaborative Fund. That I want to filter again listeners have adapted to improve their lives a lot because one of the main factors that make our lives a fairly good and standard lifestyle is the matter of money. Money may not be everything, but having money is better than none. Most of the financial information we've heard talks about how much money to save or how to invest, but in this book we'll talk about relationships and the psychology of our behavior. There is a financial issue. I have seen people who believe that money is bad, the more money, the more money will not develop back to another corner who worshipped money as God, but there are still people who think that money can do everything, do anything for money until the end result is a result of not balancing the money well it doesn't matter how smart is it. After all, financial matters are about feelings. As I said in the book are of Cleary, many times we make decisions thinking that we are rational but actually we are human. Driven by hormones, thinking, making decisions, everything is more emotional than reasoning. Therefore, the study of psychology and history is very important in the books to talk about many aspects to can help listeners understand more about money and most importantly, it's simple. Dr. Ganson taught it simply. Can be used without having to use a lot of complexity. Use only the understanding of our own minds. Now, first, we come to separate between the word rich and the word wealth before the word wealth is what we can see. Yes but the wealth Morgan then said it was something we did. It can be seen that some people want to be very rich because the rich have too much money to spend. Meaning that it is a person who has a lot of assets or if the debt, then there is still a net property that is more of him. Healthy property is time to have a good relationship with those around us. We can see that wealth will show in many ways more than wealth alone. Simply put, he will have time and happiness. Wealthy people or people with both assets are not enough to be used without need to have more assets than anyone. Be healthy, strong, and they believe that health and time and relationships are more valuable than money, not money, but it is worth, but if there are things that are still more valuable than money. Wealthy people have high self-worth because if they do something useful to others and have enough time to do whatever they want, will do freely, all of which will be a balanced image of life. Unlike rich people who may have enormous money, but don't have time to live, don't have time to spend money that he has possession because he has to work hard, without time to take care of your health. Or take care of the ones he loves Morgan smells that our world has both a former Harvard-educated CEO who is finally bankrupt and a janitor with more than $8 million in savings. There are two things in human life that matter. Next person will listeners be interested in health and money? The listeners would like to have all the contents from the book The Psychology of Money from Mogan Senator. The listeners can buy it from online or e-commerce channels. Let's look at the first part of the book. Everyone is different. Everyone is not the same. This is the opening chapter of this book. Morgan said that many times we may see some people making strange decisions in terms of money. We see some people taking their money into cryptocurrencies. Some people find it strange. Some people. See it as a brave person and he will be successful, different opinions and see? We should not blame the different ideas even if we see or we will know how much. Know the deep investment strategy because it is not very long. We all are not the same, whether the age of education, culture, experience, environment, regardless of what each person will understand the world. Different, including the matter of finance, 
which is a sensitive matter. Let me give you an example. The listeners saw that in terms of age, there will be Generation X, Gen Y, boomer men who have experienced different experiences. People who have gone through a heavy economic crisis will have a different perspective. People who have never passed the crisis, although some people try to understand, they are not the same as those who have experienced their experiences in that matter. Listeners think of people in wartime. In Chapter 2, be humble when you succeed and forgive when you fail. Don't forget that luck is involved in everything. Let me talk about fortune and risk. Morgan said that luck and risk go hand in hand. Listener in life no matter what we don't can control everything but both it is difficult to assess and accept. Most people overlook the matter of the risk. The author talks about the story that is quite shocking. He gives an example of Bill Gates. Ken Evans was one of the millions of those days who went to school with computers and eventually became a millionaire. Meanwhile, his school friend Ken Evans was one of the millions of kids who climbed a mountain and died. It was like a coin toss. Yes, even if doing everything, it does not mean that it will be in the same time in finance. It may have been like what we have succeeded in the same way as to accomplish us, but when trying to do it again, the results may not be the same. On the other hand, some people use risking carefully, but may be lucky and get better results than expected, but some people may be the opposite may not get results, and still loss. It is quite dangerous. The author has said because most people will only look at the results and will think that good results come from good decisions. Morgan then said that a skill or skill might increase the percentage of success, but it can still fail and that failure doesn't mean that a person is a bad person. Are you unskilled? He said that the most important thing is to recognize that fortune is part of success and that taking risks means we should forgive ourselves if we fail or go wrong at anything because of it. It's just the sound and we miss it, but we choose the best choice, even if you do it right, there is a chance to fail, no matter what. What I see in this chapter is that we'll do whatever will have a goal and take action on whatever careful consideration should be given to the person who favors the person to be taken as a co-model. Take them as idols and see if the results they get justify their actions. We shouldn't be specific with their individual decisions, risk, but should be specific with their overall financial behavior. Such as saving money or views, which are similar to prejudice from seeing others survive in the CR office books, in the first chapter that I have said is that when we see people not the university graduated, we all thought that if wanting to be successful, do not have to come to university. It may be a true truth, but we have not seen that some people who do not finish the university are not successful, which is much more than a very successful person, but he didn't show us only. Part 3 of the book is not enough. Morgan said that there are hundreds of thousands of stories about some people who are successful but are not satisfied with their success and therefore take risks to take additional risks or the worst is breaking the law and causing them to lose lose everything, assuming the listeners are rich in hundreds of millions and go to risk insider trading to get more than 1,000 million, but get caught and everything is broken. Rich to that point Morgan said he wanted to listeners remember that the hardest money skill is not moving your goal when you get there. The audience intends to make money this year, 1 million, as human beings we expect that when we reach 1 million, next year we need 2 million, next year we need 3 million, but what happens sometimes is we may go do something that is more risky until a certain amount of money that we get at that time will eventually be lost. This is one skill that Morgan wants us to review. Want us to realize because the money increases from replenishment. Less happiness about this I heard the research of one of the studies that I took from Praud. He said that at one point we have the money base we want, when we reach the top of the money goal that we can make after that, more money will not make us happier. We will look. Finding other goals, there is no reason to risk everything for the sake of happiness in terms of money, it's not worth it. Morgan, he said that one day there might be enough wealth to buy anything he wanted. Sufficiency must be taken into account whether rich, however, should not be compared to others because there will be people who are more than people. 
there will always be people who are richer than people anyway, so having enough doesn't mean downplaying opportunities, but recognizing that wanting too much may drive you to do something you'll later regret. Something, it may not be worth losing, no matter how much the result will be. He says that comparing other people is a big problem if make $500,000 a year. No matter how you look at it, you're one of the wealthiest people until compare yourself to Elon Musk or Bill Gates, which is a game that will never win anyway because one day there will be people who are richer than these two anyway because there will be people who are above the people who know enough is the point will not regret it later, no matter what happens. At that time, Elon Musk may be able to live because he still lacks money to follow the dream of going to Mars. Today, it may be difficult to work. 16 hours a day, 7 days a week. Late at night, I may have to ride to Baskoy again. This is what a Morganson said that. We arrived at part 4. He said that if you want to get rich, try to stay in the market for a long time. The important factor is the time we are in the market. At the time of writing this article, Warren Buffett's assets are about $80,000, but more than $80,000 million. 90% of this value comes after he retires, after the age of 60. He said that his biggest secret is that he started investing when he was very young, thus making assets. Can be compounded for a long time and there is also another investor named Jim Simon who earns more annual returns than Warren Buffett, but he started when he was older and made his assets are almost four times less. The main reason for this compounding is compound interest. This is the power of compounded returns that many people overlook because they are looking for high returns in the short term. Alone, therefore, may increase the risk and may lose what has been invested, he therefore said that what what should be done is to find an investment that has an adequate and sustainable return. Listeners can invest in anything that makes able to sleep at night that I brought to say because I am a person who likes to invest a lot. I used to take risks until I lost almost a hundred thousand. What happened was that I could not sleep, I was not happy at all, so I came to mind. That a good investment may not be an investment that pays back get the highest return, but it's an investment that makes you feel most comfortable, able to lead a normal life as much as possible because many times we invest, we tend to keep an eye on the screen all the time. All the time, especially the cryptocurry, we almost look at the graphs for hours per hour. Therefore, when making lock-in risks, our decisions have less worse, allowing the work time to it's the smartest thing ever, we understand 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus and so on but we can't really imagine what 8 times 8 is like 8 to the power of 10. Lesson 5, How to Get Rich and How to Maintain Wealth Use Different Sets of Skills If we want to get rich, we must know how to create risks. We must find opportunities in risk. But if we want to maintain our wealth, we must reduce risks as much as possible. You can see that these two skills are opposite. If you want to get rich, you have to take risks, but to keep your money, you have to do the opposite. Wealth Preservation is the most important thing for financial success. How good will you be at earning money, but if you can earn it, raise your lifestyle to a higher level according to your income. Finding it in the end, it will not be enough anyway, no matter how huge assets can be created, but if not able to keep it, it has no meaning, of course, he said. It should create a character for your business or investment. To live in the most sustainably because it will be able to benefit from the interest. He does not look at the striking, not looking at the risk, but in other words, he will come back to look at the stability, walking slowly, maybe what is better to walk quickly without knowing what to find in front of the investment is not necessary to make the right decision. Just do not break it is enough and survive for a long time. It takes humility and understanding that past success has a chance that it won't happen again, it has a chance to fail. It might be someone who took risks at first and at some point it might not be worth it to go back to how it sounded before. The key to this is to survive as long as possible which is more important than making huge profits in the short term that might make there's nothing left, so financial planning is important. There must be a backup plan. When the first plan is wrong, 
do not think that everything will be in the way that we think must be left with the air conditioner. Why? Lesson 6, Some Lose Some May Be Able to Create Wealth He talked about Warren Buffett again in 2013 in his life, holding shares in about 400 to 500 companies, but he made a lot of money from the 70 companies he was in. Similar one Zen Capital Investments, most of the returns came from only a handful of companies. We'll be able to predict the future because the most challenging investment is not knowing the future there will be profits from some companies that are large enough to make the whole picture. Earn profits even if they go bankrupt 99% of the number of companies that investment, he said that if do not want to gamble, he recommends investing in a lot of companies, also known as diversification, do not put eggs in a single basket instead of getting in because of the statistics, investing in an index teeth company or bringing the company who are the top 50, come together and pretend to be children for us to invest, it will get a more stable return and does not need to rely on luck a lot. Just have to wait listeners should understand this because it's not about how many times will you make a mistake, but the winning time may result in more than expected results that will overshadow what I made a mistake in my decision making. During this time it will be very important because may get returns that come in more than normal conditions, a variety of times, it is very common for companies that invest from cool and it happens very often at the end of 2019. There are many gurus out there predicting what will drive the economy in 2020, but not even one says that the most important factor of the 2020 economy is the pandemic. In the year 2019, he predicted that the year 2020 will have a lot of economic drivers, but no one knows that the year 2020 also has an epidemic or COVID-19 because the risk is still something. Residual after thinking carefully, then anything that can be predicted is often prevented or reduced the risk, so our duty is not to predict what will happen because it is impossible, but well how do we manage our finances to finance the albeit to ensure that we are still a survivor when something unexpected happens. It appeared in four planes, excoding, every plan is the author's words. Now, I would like to talk about when Juju in World War II in Stalingrad. There were 104 tanks stationed outside the city, but when the soldiers in the army actually needed it, they found that only 20 tanks were still operational and when the engineers went to inspect them, they found that the field mice that nest in the car both bite the wires until they can't able to start the engine. These tanks may have been designed so well that can withstand enormous explosions, but it is not designed to prevent rice rats from biting the wires. Yes, this is a story in World War II. Morgan has brought it to compare, waiting to listen. Let's come to Lesson 7. Financial freedom is not about having a lot of money but being able to control your own life. Many people who say they want to have financial freedom actually have a financial condition. Not having a lot of money can be spent without having to look at the back money can be used without any stress involved. The most important value of having money is to be a master of time. He said that even though we can do the job we love, if we don't you can control your time. This may make us suffering as well. To control your time is the best thing that money. Able to pay, we have a lot of money, we money can buy time this is what makes us more comfortable. In terms of things, even if they are expensive, they are good things. No matter how much the picture is, but once we own it for a while, we will be bored. Even if I do a job that I love, but I don't control the rhythm of my life, it's as bad as working at hate being the master of time and that we can always choose what to do, with whom, when to do this. This is freedom and we will never get bored motor has compared that people today are richer than the old people, but may not be happier. We can see that the rich and happiness in this era, we can see that it has not been the same way many times. Yes, because in the past, after finishing work, going home, but now it's like work follows us everywhere, we have social media to follow each other 24 hours a day. Some people really encounter this situation in surveying the elderly about their life experiences. For the most part, he said that what makes him happiest is having a good relationship, which I've said a lot about. That there is time for those around you and do things that love is happy. No one talks about having things or work to get the most money. Therefore, and the real wealth is not the amount. 
available money. But it is the freedom can control life which includes the time of that, especially the elderly, what he wants the most is the time. Life and the time that he had lost to what he didn't want to lose when making money to buy things that will make is he happy, is it only temporary or is it because other people have it and therefore want to have it as well? This is a problem for most people. Having a high income but not having time freedom doesn't mean that there will always be wealth. The problem of products is people who have expensive things. He thinks that he deserves appreciation, but actually, others are not always appreciated to the person, but they will imagine. To say that he has these things and also wanting to come as well. More than money than the house, the car or education here, we will see if there are things to make us look better or not. We will come to see in the lesson of man in a caparats. No one cares. The property of equals. Again, this is what Morgan said before we came into this role. Let's say we thought that driving a Porsche would be cool but time. Has the listener seen a Porsche that we thought we wanted to see the driver's face? Actually, no. We can't even look at the car, who the driver is, what the man and woman look like. We didn't notice. The author calls it a matter of man caparax. When we buy expensive things, we tend to think that it will make us look good and others admire us, but when we buy things not expensive or driving a car that really knows. Other people may stare at the car and dream that one day I want to drive a cool car like that, really, really interested in looking at us or even if he looks. That I think no more than a week, he will forget that we have that item, so if we want to appreciate, want to be accepted, the thing that will help more is to work hard together, keep our words and be considerate to fellow human beings, so there is a chicken line from Moken that if you want respect or admiration from others by having expensive things, forget it. Get it out of your brain now because it's not like that at all. On the contrary, humbleness, kindness and openness to understanding others are the things that will make received love and respect for hundreds of times more than thousands, and most importantly, it is sustainable. What I see is to use the money of show others that be. Rich this is the fastest way to make it. Look until it's down. Except is the freedom and flexibility in spending money that people haven't spent. People say they want to be a millionaire. Yes, most people mean to use millions, not a million. Some people think that if there are 10 million money to buy like that, buy like this. But people who are really rich, they are 10 million, but they didn't take it. Buying them, taking them to build on, grow and invest in yourself, this is something that is different, even thinking about it. Want to spend money? It's about exchanging money for something that loss of freedom to use that lump sum and of course, the person who can pay for Ferrari can actually be rich, have a lot of income but does not mean wealth because he may use most of the money to spend most of the time. Maintenance is spent on the installment of that Ferrari, so wealth is something that has not been changed into ours. Being able to see one's wealth at all gives them options, flexibility and growth so that will benefit more than in the future, but most people often misunderstand that wealth is to use money to buy things, whether it is a car as a house or use, so we use these things to judge who is rich or not rich. We see it very often. In this story, some people seem to be rich but not rich. Some people who seem to be rich but have a lot of money, have a lot of wealth in ourselves, we should consider this as well. That is, don't judge anyone's status because wealth is something that cannot be seen at all. In the next lesson, another case. Saving money may be the most richest way. It may look back on what we've learned that if you have money and don't save money to invest, right? Now, we will delete. Believe the old one first, let's reset again whether saving money is really that bad or not. It can only be controlled by having to focus on creating wealth, almost without having to bother with making more income at all. Because it's much harder than saving money. Many people work hard 10 hours a night to earn more, although it's actually easier to save money that is used because it can be done. It makes the overall happiness more by ways to get freedom little by little, which is saving money. Although the investment is rewarded, it is uncertain. Save money may be important. 
then because can control your daily expenses and the less money you spend existing will be with longer, he said it is not necessary to have a reason for saving money because the most important thing from saving is the flexibility that is in life. We have no way to know when the opportunity in many ways will come into life, but if you have money collect will be able to take advantage of the opportunities that come in because of financial matters, our income is difficult to control, but our expenditures it can be easier to control if you want to have more money to save, sometimes do not need to increase income, but to increase the humility. He said that the money that we can save is the gap between our ego and our income, so we will buy less things if we have less appetite, we will want less if we care less about other people's eyes. Earn more profits in the market better, but spending more than the income until there is less money than it is. So, then sing, start learning to be happier by using less money, it will make there is a burden to raise less money, humble, sometimes do not have to show off and go to sleep to make money, do not need to care about other people's eyes and in reality they are not interested. That much, everyone is only interested in their own issues. In this chapter, it is quite a bit of serious twitching in everything. There is a reasonable reason. Something that seems reasonable, that's enough. Maybe you don't need to bring new statistics. You have to bring research to refer to sometimes. Morgan, he said that people are humans who have feelings. To follow the ultimate financial theory, it may not work in the long run many times when we just do enough reason, it is okay and it is like cutting. Mind you, maybe you may not have to find an option that is a base option, just choose the option that suits you. This may be enough to use our decisions. We are not voting Microsoft Excels. No need for that exact. He gave an example. The advice from financial planners for the general public is saving money. In the fund regularly and don't have to choose individual stocks, but it would not be wrong to set aside a small amount of money to choose individual stocks yourself may see some opportunities at times, so see if you love seems like a better investment strategy than you think, even if the price goes down, we still know that we are investing in the company we love. Listeners, can you imagine that the stocks we listed will go down and in the same way it's also the company we hate? The listener invests in stocks in a company, a company that much love is a company that will be loyal to life, but his puppet falls, but we love this company and are confident that this fundamental factor will definitely grow, it will allow us to hold the shares of this company more happily and another example. Speaking of interest interest at home, he said that although the interest of the house is very cheap, but he has already taken the money to the house until if he takes that money to invest in other things, it will get a higher return if looking at each other. Pure numbers. The decision to take a lump sum on the house may not be reasonable, but actually, people do not need to do everything to get the highest return. What is more important is how to invest in order to get. You don't have to sleep restless at night like I used to be. Therefore, we don't need to have a reason to everything. We just give it reasonable to us or do it. It is a direct option number. It is very tired. It is very difficult because the best investment guidelines may be the matter of anyone. There is no fixed formula, so choose the right way in mind in our investment. The next lesson, what we should learn from the unexpected is that this world is full of surprises. There is something that we can really control, which many are surprised. We, whether this year, last year, and I am confident that in the future there will be more surprises to us. First, I have said that things that have never happened before happen all the time. History helps us to change expectations. It is like a rough study of what will work and what won't work, and it won't take shape. As always, it is the error of investors who use past data to make decisions about the future. No one could have guessed at all such as the World War, the events of Mr. Day, or the birth of the Internet. At that time, I remember when the Internet was born, no one, many people said it was a fantasy, it was something that was not able to change the world. What we see now is that it intervenes in all stages of our lives change happens at a higher rate all the time. In the next year, the change will increase even more, and in another 10 years, 
the change may be more and more until it happens in a way that if we wake up late just one day, only one may miss some important news, but he did not say that it is not that we should not study history or should not look at the past, but should not look at two specific things, we should look at the whole picture as well, for example human behavior because this is quite stable if I give an example of something that is quite certain. First of all, the humanity that we are still today, some instincts are from ancestors, or even about the season of the world, the transition of human evolution, which is quite certain because the important thing is that no matter what, people will always find changes. We all want to change a lot from the past. To be better than before, wanting to evolve from being a homo sapiens. will change a lot as well in the future what's that wanted now may change in the future may not have the opportunity to come, therefore, in long-term planning, we should consider two things, the first is not to put the sheet at the top of the bulge too much in any way, for example, it may be thought that being an economical person is not may necessary, may spend too much time earning money well, in order a lot to retire of money comfortably, two of these things may cause I will regret later, no matter what aspect of the decision, because in the end might not have enough money when you retire, you may regret not giving time to those around you because you spent too much money and what you need to consider in planning. Secondly, you must keep in mind that the situation changes. All the time, direction has to change as well. It is not necessary to stick to or regret what I have already done as I have told the best plan, not clear, not a specific map in the matter that has done the most but it turns out to be the most flexible plan and can be changed to be appropriate in every situation and in whatever planning. Must use the margin of safety or garden for safety in case what plan, it may not come out as expected, for example if the assets of the listener invested a 50% loss. How much would it affect or if the return from the investment came less than expected, would it still reach the goal or not? It occurs all the time. Therefore, having a reserve may help in a situation that wants to use money. There are only a few things in life that unchanged, or maybe we still can't even think of it. So change all the time. Therefore, our lives are full of surprises, collecting money to deal with the time to surprise us, which we have no way to know when we will talk about one thing that makes the race of Homo sapiens or our human authors stand out from all other species on this planet, it is a matter of belief able to create a story until it becomes belief. Maybe we still don't know if it is true or not, but we believe, the more true it wants it, we will think that the events that happen like that its possibilities are higher than the real financial and economic as well. The story has the power to push this side more than we think. There is one event that he calls the sample in the 2008 financial crisis occurred because the belief that real estate prices in the United States would never go down led financial instruments to become too tied to real estate and over time that sentiment did not materialize. Yes, or what we are known internationally as the supply crisis. We don't can control, we don't know about it, so we create a story to explain that, which is about my belief, maybe there is no need to park the car. The listener can because I believe that we have ever encountered some beliefs that we don't know if they have the answer or not, but we already believed it was because we didn't know that it was true. Or not and we don't can find it in humans are animals that don't like ignorance, so we find some theories for what happens to be more likely to be consistent, this is our instinct, which I just come to understand deeply in this book. The more we think we can explain that, it will give us more confidence but do not forget that other people with different experiences will give words. Different explanations, but in terms of stories, stories, more powerful than the truth, more powerful than any statistics and the story does not always be true. Wanting to believe that it was true, for it would be true until it doesn't exist. For example, we used to believe that the end of World War II was the happiest day because it meant that there would be no more wars until World War II. And if in terms of finances when no money and sick children I can think of anything. I will believe anyone who can say anything. Will believe in every way that makes the child lost, which is a scary risk because be open to too much nonsense and what happens when desperate in the stock market is the same feeling, so human beings want to reason, the brain fills it even if it's not true. No one. 
you can explain everything about finances and there is no one answer to finance. It is the answer that works for any answers that are appropriate for them. Only enough. In the end, the investment is like we walked in the dark and had a flickering candle. In addition to not having treasures, we will lose candles in vain, so we should invest consciously by calculating the risks to be smart and do not forget the way for the scenario workward. This is a one book that made me understand a lot about money and human feelings and behavior. Psycho T is here for Motor Hayes, he has clearly compiled this book very deeply, a book that changed many of my concepts. Listeners love this podcast. Listeners can like and share. Yes, and I want to know. What are your thoughts on this book about finance? I really want to hear that. How did each listener experience financial matters and whether how much will the listeners believe in what they believe? I am confident that what I believe that it's right for me. Ultimately, I have no way. To say that what I believe is wrong, there is no way for me to say that what I believe is impossible. I respect everyone's beliefs and let's meet again in the next chapter.